We good? We rolling? Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the first episode of the Bus and Spring Tour. We have with us Spencer Radler and Juice Wells. First team all SEC. I was looking you up earlier. But before we get into that, we're going to talk a little bit about Chevy, our presenting sponsor. Chevy is as trusted as a company that has ever been innovating for the last 100 years. Up to now, most electric vehicles have been either too expensive, too small, or too limited in capabilities for most people. Chevrolet is committed to making EVs available for all Americans. Thank you, brother. There is a growing network of public charging stations. There are over 1,900 certified Chevy EV dealerships. Chevy has convenient ways to research and shop EVs online. EVs for everyone, everywhere. Before we started this episode, I did tell hang the on, boys. Hang on. That was solid. Hey, brother, I appreciate that. That was a big deal for me. I don't know if you guys know this or not. If you guys watch the show and just say you do. Reading. I don't read good. I had a 1.7 GPA in my junior year of high school. Shout out to ACTs for getting me that 29. We made it through. Yeah, we made it through the whole thing. Welcome to busting with the boys, fellas. Or should we start, Taylor? We should start in high school because Spencer is from Arizona. Went to Pinnacle High School. High school. Did give you ever play Cactus Shadows High School or Chaparral High School? I played Chaparral High School. I was actually supposed to go to Chaparral. Really? I grew up in the Firebirds organization. Yeah. Um, and I played Cactus Shadows in basketball. Didn't grow up with enough money to go to Chaparral? No. I mean, they wanted me to come, but I lived like 20 seconds away from Pinnacle. Yeah. So when I was a, a sophomore in high school, we, I went, I was at Cactus Shadows and we played Pinnacle, Cox 7. The cable. You went to Cactus Shadows? I went to Cactus Shadows my first oh. three years and then I went to Chaparral my senior year. You left them because they suck. Yeah. We actually won a state championship the year we played Pinnacle. We beat them 31 to 0. Okay. You talking about the, your senior year? My se no, my sophomore year. My junior year, we were awful. Oh, were you playing your sophomore year? Of course. I was starting nose tackle. And did I ball? Yeah, I think pinnacle? so. Did you? Sure. Not really. No, I actually <laughs> was a terrible nose tackle. <laughs> well, why did you end up, you, you were at Oklahoma. You ended up going to Oklahoma mm -hmm. out of high school. What made you want to go there and not Michigan? Um, uh, my mom's from Michigan. So yeah. funny you say that. I went to a Michigan camp my freshman year, met Jim Harbaugh and everything. And it clicked, but I just feel like it was too cold up there. I wasn't used to it. Um, Oklahoma at the time, they were pumping out Heisman quarterbacks. So I was like, hey, let's give this a shot and see how it goes. So that was my decision. Do you have any unique experiences with Jim Harbaugh? Because I heard his tactics can be a little unique. No, he definitely, you know, he's an interesting guy from what I remember. He always has those khakis on, you yeah. know, always had the khakis on. I think he had, look. yeah, intense look, very serious. Um, sat down with him probably for five, 10 minutes and just talked. And he was just very interesting, very interesting cat for sure. Man, talk about, talk about Oklahoma. You uh, you set a record. You tied Sam Bradford's record, eight touchdowns. You led the boys to a Big 12 championship. You were a Heisman candidate going into that final year when you ultimately, um, yeah, you ultimately yep. transferred after getting after getting benched in. Mm -hmm. I think second somewhere early in the season. I think against Texas. Yep. And you, from your perspective, what happened at Oklahoma? You know, it, it was a bunch of different things. Um, I, I kind of controlled what I could control. You know, as a player, as a quarterback, you're going to get a lot of blame for everything. Um, you know, but we were winning games at the time. Uh, I think we were on a 15-game win streak going into 2021, and then everything kind of spiraled out from there on after. And, uh, you know, it just played out how it played out. But, you know, I had a good time at Oklahoma. I had a lot of success, had some adversity, but learned a lot for sure. Juice, what about you? What about your high school career? What led you to South Carolina? Dude, hang on. He was JMU. Yeah. That boy was, uh, yeah, I feel like the transfer portal played in your favor, right? Like, that's when it was coming out. You're somebody who was absolutely killing it. You were like an All-American. I was seeing some of the stats you had at JMU. Shout out Virginia, by the way. Um, but, yeah, like, getting to use the transfer portal to your advantage, I feel like the most of the time guys go in the portal and it probably doesn't work out the way, but it seemed like you just needed, like, an opportunity to go play against, like, big competition for to set you up. Or probably in a post a lot. I see a lot of posts. Hold it close to your mouth. They say, um, uh, <laughs> but I see like, they be like, you know, the transfer portal bowl gets all this other stuff. But I definitely use it to my advantage. You know, I always was like an underdog coming out of high school. Like you said, I, I had a low GPA coming out of high school. So uh, I was having a hard time. And uh, coming out of high school, I went to Fort Union Military Academy. It was like a, it's, it's a famous one. Y'all might have heard of it or something like that. But um, I went there for three months, six months or whatever. No phone, no nothing. Got me right though, you know what I'm saying? So I went there and then I went to jam you and uh, I just went there with a chip on my shoulder and I knew I didn't belong there, you know what I'm saying? So I'm like, I'm gonna just come here, kill, you know what I'm saying? Then hit the portal. And I told the seniors that when I first got there, I'm like, look, I'm only here for about two years and I'm gone, you know what I'm saying? So I went there, did what I had to do and now I'm here. Why, you went to an academy first before JMU? Yeah, because my grades was bad. I, I was, I didn't. Yes, yeah, so you weren't eligible to go into college. I had like a one nine coming so out. So the, the academy was essentially like a, a, a community college? Nah, it was like a, um, 
like a, a prep school. You know what I'm like saying? So we school? yeah, so we play play like Palmetto Prep. You know all these Copper State. Oh, uh, it was crazy teams we was playing. It was like put together teams we was playing. But I, I went there for my grades, and I went. There. I still had a good season there, but I broke my ankle like the second game, so I didn't really play. But so you had a good season, but you played one game. I had like you four. I had like, on that I had one like game. four touchdowns. Did what he needed to do. I had like four touchdowns, four hundred yards. Like I was going crazy. God, like, they must have been like so happy when you broke yeah. your ankle. When you break your ankle that second game. You said what? When you broke your ankle that second game, what yeah, quarter yeah, was it? Yeah, like it was like I, it wasn't even in the game. It was like practice. Like we had ECU come to practice. I'm hey. trying to get an offer. I go up for a fade ball. I heard like a crack. I'm like, oh snap! Like what's going on? Like right, I'm good. It's my first time ever being injured. So I get back in. I'm like, oh, I'm good. Let's go. I run a drag route. It crack again. I'm like, yeah, I'm done. I'm crying. I'm like, man, I came here to get offers. I can't even get offered no more. Da, 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 da. But I focused on school. Got my grades right, and I was good. You look back, or you're like, damn, I wish I'd have took school a little bit more serious. Definitely, for sure. Like, I was, I, I never knew what football could take me. You know what I'm saying? Like, I always was just, you know, running around, being bad. You know what I'm saying? Just, yeah, just hanging out. Like, you know what I'm saying? But my pops got me right. You know what I'm saying? And I'm happy. Is that something when you go back home, you probably stress to the youngins, like, hey. Yeah, I got, I got like eight nephews. Around. I got eight nephews, so I got to make sure I call them every day. You know what I'm saying? Make sure they, you know, on the right track. You know, I still let them have a little fun and all that. Still let them be kids, you know. Yeah. But when, when they get a little older age, I'm gonna make sure I, I be on the tail. When you say when you say you were running around being bad when you were a kid, now you go back home. Like, is there something back in your head? Like, man, I can't get caught up with maybe some of the same people. or Oh something yeah, like that. yeah, I gotta yeah. Make sure yeah. You keep an arm's length. Yeah, for sure. Like, I rarely go home. You know, I'm, I'm either down here or I'm either, you know, whenever we get a break, I'll go train, go somewhere else like Miami, go train, uh, Florida. Uh, it's its own bag of issues. But, you know, they got gold feet down there, so I go down there with gold feet or Texas or something like that. I even go to Arizona with him sometimes and just, just kick it with him. I, I can't go back home. Bro. Standing time. Yeah. Um, Spence, why come back for your fifth year? I know you, you were looking at maybe going to the NFL. Like, why, why come back? Just a lot of stuff left on the table, not just for me, but, you know, Juice came back. A lot of guys came back. So I feel like we didn't start the year how we wanted. If we started the year great, you know, we might have had a different decision. But the first half of the year was kind of up and down. Really, from November on, we turned it up. And uh, we just want to keep that going into this next year. Uh, you guys at that, uh, we were here for that Tennessee game. And, bro, that was unbelievable. You were legit yeah. throwing whatever route you wanted, however you wanted to throw it. You were lighting dudes up. What do you think changed from the beginning of the season, you saying the way it went in the beginning, to like those last two games of the year, those last few games of the year where you just really turned it on? I mean, I, thanks, brother. Good question. Our mentality um, really just turned up. We were like, you know what? Screw it. Let's go out here and rip it all over the field. Do what we do best. Get in, you know, Juice's hands. Get in our playmakers' hands. And, you know, that's literally what we did. We went out there with a good game plan, threw the ball, I think, 37 times, which I don't mind. I like throwing the ball a lot. These guys like catching the ball a lot. And, uh, yeah, it was just super fun, um, and it turned out how it turned out. Yeah, yeah your, your guys' chemistry definitely got a lot better. Tell us, uh, I would love to hear a time in the season last year where you're, you're pissed he's not throwing you the ball. Uh, I would assume in the first half of the year, it's like, hey, Spence, like, yeah. what are we fucking doing here, man? <laughs> I think it was bit. like the Georgia game. <laughs> Georgia game, uh, probably the Charlotte game. Like, those Charlotte and South Carolina State games, I'm thinking like, I'm thinking like when, when we playing them, I see on the schedule, Charlotte, South Carolina. I'm like, wait, I'm easy 200. You know what I'm saying? Like, this is easy. You know what I'm saying? But I'm going to the game. I'm like, what's going on, bro? Like, why I ain't getting the ball? But <laughs> Throw the fade. Throw the fade to me. I'm open. Throw the fade, bro. Just forget it. But I mean, everything worked out for his favor. You know what I'm saying? I'm happy we back. You know what I'm saying? We got a whole lot to prove. You know what I'm saying? I can't wait. When he's getting mad at you saying, hey, throw the fade on the sidelines, at one point you're like, hey, shut the fuck up. I'm going to throw you the ball. Just <laughs> there, relax. There's definitely times where, you know, you want to pop off, but. I got respect for him. He got respect for me. Yeah. I wouldn't say he was going off on me, but, you know, hey, look my way, look my way. But, you know, as a QB, he realizes now we got to go through progressions. We got to do yeah. this, that. Yeah. You know, our coach is expecting us to do this. And, uh, you know, sometimes he didn't touch the ball. We had a lot of playmakers. But, yeah. uh, you know, he's definitely always been, you know, our top target and definitely want to give him the rock more this year. It'll be like, it'll be like after a touchdown, I'll be like, come on, man, throw me the ball. Like, like we, man, we, we just like, scored, bro. Like, we just after y'all score touchdown? Yeah. yeah. Like, That's after hilarious. Like, I, like, he always wants to want your receivers to be selfish. You want them to be selfish. Yeah, yeah. After I mean, the Clemson game, I scored. I'm like, throw me the ball. Come on, stop playing. Like, he's like, bro, I just do you a touch. Bro, like, what you talking about? Like, but That's hilarious. Going back and forth, you always have a video that resurfaces of you in high school. Do you still... Talk to your, do you talk to any of your receivers that way? And when you look back at that video, what do you think about what goes through your mind? Because that's a, that's a tough video. It, yeah, I mean, 
look, I mean, I was young at the time, 16 years old with all my boys. Like, that's just how we, we were super competitive. I've always been competitive as a kid. And, uh, like, those are still some of my best friends to this day that we would talk smack to. Same, and same uh, receiver? Same. Receivers, quarterback. I mean, all them guys I still stay in contact yeah. with. And, you know, at the time, you're a little confident, a little cocky, and you might be different. When I look back at it, I'm like, man, I just want to... You know what I'm saying? I'm just... Right. What, what was I doing? But hey, I was young. I learned. Um, and yeah, like I said, I'm still best friends with, with some of those guys. But yeah, I, I'm not popping off on him like that because he might punch uh, me in the mouth. Did you see the video? Yeah, I've seen it. Like, hey, they, they made what you think, what you think when you first saw it? I'm not going to lie. I really, didn't, together, yeah? I really didn't... Like, he just... If you were a competitor, you like, understand. You, you a football like that, player. You know what I'm saying? Like... You just talking, you know what I'm saying? Like, as long as people ain't in their feelings and everybody crying and all that, you good. You know what I'm saying? Like, shit. Like, I don't yeah, know, I, man. I, I, hey, I, you I, drop a couple balls and then he starts yelling saying, you like that? Should, bro, you drop it, four or five easy. passes in a row. Nah. He tells you that. I feel like he's going to get Dude, I've had situations. Man, don't like, fucking talk to me. Like, that's like not going to happen. You know what I'm saying? We ain't doing that. I'm like, bro, shut the fuck up. Chill out. I need you to leave me alone. Because you're in your head, you're like, damn, I you're in it yourself, yeah. And then they want to come and talk to you about Like, if I miss a block, Derek Henry will literally be like, hey, what happened there? Like, bro, you know what the fuck happened there. Yeah, yeah like, <laughs> yeah. obviously, I missed the block. Relax. Yeah. Yeah. That's not the, the energy. Eyes just That's not the energy you. I need from you yes, right now, bro. Dude. Yes. It, dude, it's a fucking part of the game. Thing. Yeah. It's definitely part of the game, dude. Yeah. What, um, when you say something changed, like you guys got loose towards the back half of the season, like, what sparked that change for you guys? Because it is very easy playing football to think, like, you're at an SEC school, you're supposed to win. You got, you're got you extremely highly rated. Obviously, the grades, we had a hard time there. But now you're like, I mean, you had more receiving yards than the other two receivers combined. All-American candidate yeah, now. All-American candidate. Like, what, <clears throat> how do you compartmentalize the stress factor in trying to be perfect and then letting it loose? It was really um, Zeb Nolan. He played quarterback here. He was like, he was like a GA. And last year, or two years ago, he had come in and had to play. It was like his sixth or seventh year. And he was like our you know, QB analyst last year helped out a little bit. He just told me, hey, go out there and have conviction with every single throw. You know, I'm, my dad's calling me every five times a day. Hey, do this, do that, do that. Always backing me up. But really, I just cut it loose and play like it was high school again. You just have fun with it. Get it to the guys like this and he'll make plays. And I mean, that shit was fun, man. Going on from November on, that was that was a great feeling. And we're trying to emulate that every single game this upcoming year. It probably had to feel good, too. Like, you know, a lot of people, when you were playing w really well late in the year, people were like, okay, this is Spencer Rattler of old. Like, the one that Oklahoma recruited and was doing well before everything had went down at Oklahoma. So I'm sure that was, I'm sure it was good being able to do that and then start having fun with some of the boys and just cutting it loose. Definitely, definitely. Just, I, I don't like when people say, oh, that's the old Spence. Right. You know, because, you know, that, that part of my game never left. Just had to get used to a different league, new team, new system, new coaches, and... It just clicked at the right time, I guess. What were the biggest differences for you, like being in the play at Oklahoma, then coming here to the SEC? Um, just the different type of offenses. Like we went, it wasn't pro style at all at Oklahoma. It was more like spread. You know, you got a two word play call. Yeah. Um, and you're going one, two, three, four, all pure progression reads. You come here and it's like why skip the gun bunch left pass seventeen Buster nudge Z spear X pile on alert. You know, NFL type plays. Yeah. So where you got to tag everything and you know it took me a minute just to get that stuff down with the progression stuff but once we got it down and kind of not simplified but did what we did best that's when we cut it loose towards the end mm -hmm. was there a, a mental battle in all of that like when you did transfer over and leave Oklahoma and everything else for me it was refreshing I had a fresh feeling I was ready to start somewhere new with like coach Beamer you know he was with me at OU so I already knew him um so it was a it was a you know fresh feeling coming in you know, and I just wanted to come and try to help South Carolina get back on the map. And, uh, you know, guys like this came in and, you know, I think we think we back on the map a little bit. We still got some ways to go, but hey, we, we on the come up. Just from when you were at JMU mm -hmm. and you entered the transfer portal, like what, like what in your head made you say, okay, I need to utilize this new resource that the college football has is like, go to the, go to the portal and figure out where you want to go. And like, how many offers did you have? I had about, I think 12. You know what I'm saying? Somewhere around there. But uh, what really stood out to me, I was like, you know, I got something to prove, you know. I want to see what God got in store for me. You know what I'm saying? So I'm like, why not take it to the furthest extent? You know, why not go to the SEC and, you know, show scouts and, you know, other people that I can do it? You know what I'm saying? So mm -hmm. I did that. And, um, yeah. I don't know what else we need. <laughs> <laughs> you feel me? No, I feel you. Hey, well, the NIL money, does that have any effect on the locker room, do guys compare stuff? I'm curious because, you know, back 
back when we played. Like we yeah, just there was our, no like we transfer portal. School, you, yeah. As you guys know, you just get your scholarship check. Now guys can make money, especially yourself. You're coming back. You're a quarterback. Like, is there a vibe at all in the locker room? I'm not saying like in a negative way, but did, has the NIL world kind of changed the way guys can, I guess, operate? I don't know what the question is, but. I mean, I feel like yeah, within the team. That's solid. Within the team, I feel like we're all super close. Nobody talks about dollar amounts, nothing like that. Um, I mean, our locker room's tight. You know, we talk about being the closest team in the country. You know, we kind of focus on that every day. We don't, we don't talk about that stuff. But, you know, obviously people know. And we obviously, if we get an NIO deal, we'll, we'll try to help others as well on a squad. Because, right. you know. Yeah. You guys get, you guys chirp each other? Come on now, like if Spence comes in, like, ooh, Spence, I saw the. Oh, no. Oh, no, me and him might be like, hey, what you got coming in? He got some stuff coming in that he might want to talk about, but. (laughs) No. He got the track coming in. I got a new track hawk coming in. You You got a new what? Track hawk. Track hawk. Yeah, like a a crazy Jeep. Like. Oh, no shit. Yeah, my, my dog, Wolf, uh, Will. My dog, Hearn, gonna give me right. Shout out to Hearn. You know, he gonna, he gonna give me right. You know what I'm saying? I'll show y'all whenever I get it. You might take a picture. Pick it up. Pick it up. So, yeah, send a picture, dude. And I heard you got some nice wheels, too. Some pretty, wheels that dudes in the league have. Pr- pretty good, you know? Uh, I mean, I don't want to say it aloud. G-Wagon, but yeah, he's got something. G-Wagon? I got the G-Wagon. Oh, I heard G-Wagon. G-Wagon. <laughs> Maybe down the road, but I got the little uh, coupe right now. E450. You know, shout out to, <sighs> shout out to Dyer uh, dealership. Yeah, in college, I had a... 50 cc moped, and we only do Chevy. We only do Chevy. We only do Chevy. Yeah, great call. I had a 50 cc moped and a 1984 bleep. Cadillac DeVille that had you know, no power you, you steering got from or point power brakes. Point B though. Yeah, we did yeah. all right. Yeah, yeah, we did motivated. all right in the process. Motivated yeah. for sure, man. Well, how how long have we went with them? I don't. I know my man Juice is hungry. We're at 15 I heard him minutes right now. We have five more minutes. We good. No, he's hangry. He's angry right now. Yeah. You want us to get you something? I'm good. I'm send sorry. somebody right now. I'm good. Bro. You're an all American. It was great. First what do you? Oh, good. So what do you guys say like you want to keep building off last year and keep the same momentum you did? Like, what is the expectation for the Cox this year? I don't really put no expectation on it. You know what I'm saying? We just going out there. We just going ball. You know, it ain't ain't really too much to it. You know, we just gonna go out there with the momentum we got. You know, and just. Ooh. I feel like yeah, I feel like if we put expectations on it, yeah, they got like, a target on your back. Yeah, you know yeah. what I'm saying. It's not what like, you want to do in this league. You know, have teams nice. circling you. You know, your name every week. Happen. You know? but, hey, we, we ready for whatever. We're whatever. Ready for our, How about this one though? It's South Carolina, the team to beat in South Carolina. For so sure. definitely. For so sure. mm. that was a good Clemson question. Now you got the last what? What was it when we were down there counting on the trophy? Last eight games, the boy Clemson seven eight and or nine. Clemson seven nine. and one, but you all have. Yeah, but Cle- but South Carolina won the last game. Last game. Yeah, you're only as good as your last game. Basketball too, they just knocked them out too, so they can't. South Carolina just knocked yeah. off Clemson. I think so. Yeah, yeah. love that. Baseball, women's basketball. There's definitely respect both ways, but yeah. I mean, this no, year we did our no. thing. Not in a rivalry, dude. That's yeah, not, not how it is. Yeah, you can talk a little. Trash. You could be like, <laughs> yes. At Michigan, we play Michigan State. We call them our little brother. Yeah. I went one and three against Michigan State. I still call them my little brother. Got to, huh? Keep that confidence. Gotta disrespect yeah, them yeah. as much as possible. What about Ohio State? What was your record versus them? One and three. One and three. Yep. You Basically, beat Ohio State? any Big Ten team it was probably one and three. You beat Ohio State. Yeah. Twenty twelve. They stormed the field. Twenty twelve. Who was the quarterback for Ohio State that year? Uh, Braxton Miller, probably. Braxton Miller. Braxton yeah, Miller. Yeah, yeah. He was dirty. Bro, they just, he was dirty. Ohio bro. State is the kings of having good quarterbacks in college that don't pan out in the NFL. Yeah. I'm just well, say they that. can claim that some claim Joe Burrow. Nah, no, you nah, can't claim nah, Joe Burrow. Nah, you know how that is. Nah, they do. Like, they do. When you're when you're a first round pick, are, are they going to claim you at Oklahoma? I hope not. They, <laughs> you know they will. You know they will. Do you have any bad blood towards Oklahoma? Do you feel a certain way? Man, it's okay to feel that way. You know, the situation happened how it happened. You know, obviously, I was salty about it. You know, I'm a competitor. I want to be out there playing, and we were winning games, like I said. So, like we were undefeated at the time where I got benched. So I'm like, damn. Um, but. Hey, man, you live and you learn. God sent me here for a reason. That's yeah. how I look at it. Yeah. Uh, the, all these questions are like, you know, when people are telling you about the NFL and everything like that, all the coaches everywhere, like that's going to be such a focus. Definitely. When you're going through that draft process. Yeah, the whole why did you transfer thing? Why did this happen? Yeah, all that a lot stuff. of that stuff. Buddy, I had so many interviews at the Combine. It was ridiculous. Let me ask you a hypothetical. Was a degenerate in college. I was, absolutely. <laughs> I did a lot of cocaine. Um, <laughs> <Wild I'm sorry. laughs> I mean, what? I went fucking hard, dude. Yeah, yeah. My nose was a vacuum. It's behind and I balled it's the behind, fuck out. It's behind, it's behind, it's behind me. Yeah, it super lit. Yeah, I'm a two time All American. Um, on that, uh, it, would you rather both be first round picks or one of you be a second round pick and both play on the same team when you're in the NFL? Mm. 
A good question. It came out of nowhere. I didn't even know that Bro, one. Bro, that was just, I, I just had lie. that in the back. I ain't gonna lie. I'm gonna, I'm gonna hit him with this cocaine comment and then come out with some heat, dude. Yeah, I might have to see you on a different team, yeah, Jess. Exactly. <laughs> I mean, I had goals before I came here. You yeah, know what so First round is it? First round. First round's the goal, for sure. Yeah. Absolutely. Always got to be. Man, you know, we could probably trade or something like that. Yeah. On the same team. That'd be no, cool. No, they're 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 like that. Like they're the GMs. You will probably trade or something. They'll probably trade for somebody. So you would you would not be a second round pick for your boy to throw them? Mm. Yeah, I get bro. We put in yeah, first so round's work, my goal. Bro. Yeah, you know? we, we have yeah. my goal. We if it could turn out like Joe Burrow and Jamar Chase, but I think yeah. Jamar came out the year after Joe the year left. After. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I had to play them dudes. So this is your Jamar Chase. This is my Jamar Chase. Kind of looks like him too. Kind of does. Kind of does. Kind of does. Kind of do. Kind of plays the same. You see that yeah. as a, as I a compliment. Look up to him though, for yeah. Sure, man. yeah. I try to, you know, get his little game and all that. So yeah. Is that the number one guy you're trying to emulate? So, rookie of the year. You know, oh, okay. eighteen hundred yards at LSU. Don't babysit that thing now. Get it up close. Oh, my bad. You know what I'm saying? Eighteen hundred yards. That low volume voice. Eighteen hundred yards. You know, I'm trying to. You feel me? And he like he aggressive off the line. He don't really do too much finesse. I feel like you know we gotta. Got kind of got the same game, you know what I'm saying? So, who's the uh, who do you respect the most as a corner in, in the SEC? None of them. killer mentality, right here, man. I respect it's nobody. Like, I go out there to kill, you know what I'm saying? If I feel like I got like respect for anybody or something like that, then I feel like it's gonna like you know throw me off my game, you know what I'm mm -hmm. saying? Like, I'm here to get money just like he is, you know what I'm saying? So, you know, respect when we in them lines, I can be playing my blood brother, whoever it is, you're gonna get this work. What mm -hmm. game? Yeah. Hey, that fired oh, me the fuck yeah, up. Yeah, yeah. That fired me the yeah, fuck up. I'm telling you, like, you know. when I first came here, like, I was, I was talking shit. Like, I'm here, like, I'm here to play. You know what I'm saying? Like, and that, I think that just come from, you know, just, you know, coming up. I'm my mama's only son. You know what I'm saying? I got seven sisters. Like, it's just like, I always felt like I had something to prove. You know what I'm saying? And then, like, I was always like an underdog, too. You know what I'm saying? Like, not being recruited, all this stuff. So, it ain't really no respect between them, between them lines. You know what I'm saying? I'm here to feed my family and get paid. You know, so get all that. If you were sitting in a room at the combine with coaches, mm -hmm. what would you tell them is your best quality as a receiver? A hey, soft. Um, Brother, I am in flow quality, state. You know, is um, I think just my physicality. You know what I'm saying? Like, you're not really gonna get your hands on me. You know, if you is, I'm gonna be physical back. You know, uh, I can block. You know, I can catch the ball. I got good hands, you know, and um, I can win that 50-50 ball. For, e for each of you. Yeah, yeah, go ahead. Same question as a quarterback. Best quality. Um, I would say I feel like I make guys around me better. Um, I can extend the play, and uh, I'm, I feel like I'm very accurate. You know, I definitely want to improve on everything, but I feel like I'm very accurate and, and, and could definitely extend plays and, and do things like that. A strong arm too. Strong arm too. If you were to Boy, flip the boys hyping boys, you got yeah, that's dude, what we're good all vibes about, all around. Yeah, yeah. I'm gonna bring the vibes down. If you had to tell them your weak, biggest weakness, what would it be? I would say trusting my arm too much. At sometimes, you know, I had more interceptions than I wanted last year, and that's just simply based off trying to do too much, trying to trust my arm too much. I'll try to throw off balance, you know, where usually I could make that throw, you know. But these, these dudes are are good in this league. We got good defenses every week, so. Those guys are going to make plays, but yeah, I'd say trust in my arm too much at times. Mm -hmm. Juice? I think, um, I don't know. It's going to be a question for sure. Yeah, I know. I don't really too much focus on my weakness, you know what I'm saying? I don't know. If a, if a coach is being critical to you, when you sit in this in a wide receiver room, mm -hmm. the coach is like, these are the things you need to work on. Whether you see it as a weakness or not, what are those things? Oh, see, now, like, if he said I need to work on those, I definitely, you know, Go work on it, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. But I think uh, the way I see, like, uh, defenses and stuff like that, you know, I can see cover two, cover three, all that type of stuff. But, like, if the DB give me different leverages, I try to, like, stem at them a different way when I can just be vertical off the ball, stuff mm -hmm. like that, you know. But I don't know. Probably, you know, um, getting the playbook a little fast. I don't know. Shit, I, I don't focus on the weakest too much, you know what I'm saying? I just yeah. Just damn ball. When you, you, got you are a textbook wide receiver. <laughs> Textbook wide receiver. And that's a compliment, by the way. Appreciate that. Like, you want dudes like that. We didn't have guys like that when we got A.J. Brown. Yeah. And A.J. Brown legit was disrespecting guys as a rookie. Yeah. And to the point where you're like, who the fuck is this guy? And he I, got 1,000 yards. Lie, like, I, I, um, I be seeing stuff about, like, you know, rookies and all them taking them out to dinner. I seen one thing uh, Jalen Ramsey said. Like, he going to have, like, a... He had, like, a... Like, a... I guess, like, a little menu already made for, mm -hmm. like, guys, like... I'm not going in there and spending 60K on a dinner. You know what I'm saying? You're, you're going to spend that I mean, money. I'm, I'm going to do it, but I'm definitely going to have a yeah. menu, though. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's tough to yeah. posture like that already. Do that. Y'all had to oh, do yeah. that. Yeah. 
No, how much you spent? The, the, the vets just scared the shit out of me. Like, I was undrafted, so I, my signing bonus was like $2,500 after taxes. And so they were talking about, hey, hey comp, you, you know, you got to pay for dinner. And I'm literally, like, sweating, like, Fletch. London Fletcher was, was my vet. I was like, hey, Fletch, man, like, do I really have to pay for dinner? Like, legit, man. I, he's like, comp, man, we're not fucking making you pay for Zero, dinner, bro. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, we would do that. Like, we would take the rookies out. And then uh, we would, like, pretend to get, like, uh, Louis shots yeah. for everybody. We would just get them a Louis shot. And then we'd have them bring out, like, a fake bill for, like, $50,000, $60,000. What'd you have to oh, spend? 20000 Your rookie dinner? Yeah. But it's really not. If but you guys are first-round picks, like, you're going to be all right. You, yeah, you were first round. Yeah, I'm saying, like, the thing that's really frustrating is, especially for, like, for you, because you're going to be in a really small room. But you're going to sit there and you'll be like, hey, we want X, Y, and Z on Saturdays. We want you to go get us Krispy Kreme donuts and make sure it's in the meeting room on Saturday morning. And Saturday's low-key the only day you really get to sleep in. But what if you don't do it? That's a fine. A fine? A fine. Yeah, and a there's fine. like a, there's, you have levels of fines. Just the vets in the room, like, yeah. you know, say there's you're like a late. fine. There's an ugly fine. There's your name a, there's gets a set, your name fine. Gets said in a, oh, your name bro. gets said in a meeting. Yeah. It's a fine. If, if you get highlighted, yeah, if, you're, if, you get highlighted. if you're on their Instagram, it's a fine. It's like $25, $50. It all depends. It yeah, varies from team to team. Yeah. Wow. Like the Titans? He, he, like if, if he goes high, though, it won't just be the quarterback room. They're going to make him take the offense. Right. Yeah. The O-line. Quarterback. And, yeah. That's yeah. O-line. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You should take the boys out for sure. Or buy the O-line Christmas presents. Yeah. And yeah. make sure they're good presents because I've had good ones and I've had shitty ones. What's the best present you got from a, from a QB? Um, Marcus got us suits one year. Like we were at dinner at Kane Prime in Nashville and uh, some suit guy came in, measured us at dinner and got us all yeah. suits. Hey, iPhones. Remember that? Yeah, yeah, he got it. You know, Marcus, Marcus took him out to dinner one hey, time. I heard Rolex. Lamar, I, got, I think Lamar Jackson got his O line all Rolexes. Oh, that's damn. Frustrating. That's crazy. Hey, he <laughs> that's bro. frustrating. Cards, Russell, hey, Russell Wilson yeah. got his boys uh, Amazon stock. Wow. Like $50,000 in Amazon stock or something crazy like that. That's probably the best but thing. But right that, that is Get just, them boys just to know you for 20 minutes, that's going to be something you're going to struggle with. Is like you're going to have to carry pads off the field. You're gonna have to. There's there I are am. some. So I'm telling you though, like, what if you balling though? Like, if you're balling, listen. This if is you before, ball, this is pre this is camp. This is OTAs. Oh, okay, this is okay, the first okay. couple weeks, weeks of the year. If you walk in and you're wide receiver one and you're balling everybody, like, eh. you can put your shit out there and be like, hey, I'm not doing this shit no more. But there are some things like, it's just like, just the rite of passage that you have to do certain things. Some rooms are worse than others. Wide receivers are very inconsistent. Well, don't you know there are stories where guys don't do stuff. Yeah. You know what I mean? They posture up and they don't do stuff. I guess we're trying to like say like, don't be that fucking It's not guy. that big of a deal. Yeah. 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 No, like it's not that big boys. of a deal. Like, yeah. The thing is, is like, I just feel like they be trying to like, you know, be extra. You that's know what I'm saying? They're not like, trying to be extra for yeah. Just chill. Like, you know what yeah. I'm saying? But, that's what AJ would say. Like, they trying me. Yeah. Like, AJ, they're not no trying, trying you, bro. So he had to go through that too. Yeah, but AJ was one of those dudes that didn't do shit. He was like, I'm not doing this. And AJ was also our best receiver by far. Yeah. He's the only guy we threw the ball to. Built like a transformer. Oh, okay. like, he is really built like, like that. Anybody, yeah. Right. AJ right, right. was awesome his first couple of years, man. It's like when dudes are just ready to fight off the jump. It's like, yeah, okay, it's not that serious, but fuck, man. Like, yeah. old Mr. Receivers was huge. Game. Him and Deco. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. But that, that, the, the thing that bugged me the most, the thing that bugged me the most, was like that Saturday, because like that's really the only day you get to sleep in. That and Friday, you get to be be in there by like eight o'clock. But Saturday, you don't have to be in there till like nine, ten o'clock sometimes. You're like, oh, I'm going to get to sleep. Got you running errands and all that. got me stuff, running so. errands. And then before the flight, like... there be multiple receivers, so... Yeah. Before the flight, it'll be like noon, and the flight takes off at 2.45. And they're like, all right, you have to take everybody's, like, what they want from Wingstop or, like, Subway or something like that. And That's you have to go crazy, and get it. Though. Look at us old heads just... Just talking just yeah. for no reason, Back like in our day for, yeah, forcing it on them, right? The like legit, game, though, I think if you, if you do the one big thing, then you'll all the like small Saturday petty stuff, like yeah. that'll be for the other guys. If you guys went in like there myself. and got all the wide receivers gifts right away, like nice ones, don't get them Rolexes, but I like, get them all iPads. Uh, yeah, that's smooth. That's get smooth. something like that's that smooth. and be like, boys, I'm just letting you know it's not going to go the way you think it is during the season, but yeah. this is for y'all. Yeah, just know that I love y'all. Yeah, that's a nice little. I'm gonna use that. That's a good ass idea. I'm gonna use that. That's for you, dude. You should take that. If you guys could go to, we will wrap it up in a second because I know we're at 28 minutes right now. But regardless, because I didn't want to go to the Titans. Yeah. I did not care to go to the Titans. Growing up, where did you guys want to play in the NFL? Well, uh, growing up, I wanted to play for Green Bay, but now I want to go play like in Miami or like Texas or something like that. Somewhere warm. Yeah, yeah. somewhere warm. You know, uh, Texas, Texas. Houston or Dallas. Yeah, yeah. I feel you. Know you. Know Houston or Already Dallas. I'm thinking, I see you. I go Dallas because I, I. You do not want to go to Houston, my friend. Yeah. You do not want to go there. Not yeah, maybe you know. Maybe next. Bro, year. when you grow up 
And you literally like, even if you're not a, a Cowboys fan, what if you were a Redskins fan growing up? Like you would still look at the star on the helmet and be like, fuck. Oh yeah. Like, I've heard Cowboys dude, were that team. I've heard, uh, I've heard guys go to the Cowboys and like, this is really what I thought the NFL was growing up. Uh, like all, like anytime a new iPhone comes out, it's on your locker. PS5 comes out, it's on your locker. The deals are crazy. Yeah. Because you go to some places and you don't get paid nothing besides what your salary is. That's like the highest earning team, right? Cowboys, yeah. America's team. Yeah. Yeah. How about you? Uh, For me, I, I, my dad was a Cowboys fan coming up. So I said, hey, if you can go to America's team, might as well. But kind of like him, like anywhere in Florida would be great. Maybe the Cardinals, but Kyler's kind of locked in there. Um, somewhere warm. Chill. Chill. Yeah. Bro, if you went back to Arizona. That would be lit. That'd be Especially crazy. the way people are viewing Kyler Murray right now. Yeah. If they, like, let's, this is nothing against him. I'll speak no, no, for no. You. I love for Kyler for the sure. The season doesn't go the way they want it to again. They try to figure out a way to get out of it. They pull a Russell Wilson type thing. They get the bag. Yeah. They send him somewhere else. And everyone's saying, bring the prodigal son home. That'd be ideal. That'd be, That'd be ideal. Bring the prodigal son home. Dude, if I... You're going, you're going to Buffalo. <laughs> <laughs> can't do it, bro. Ain't no oh. question about that. You're going to Buffalo <laughs> or Cleveland. Go to- He'll be in Detroit. Bill, Bills will make it all the way again and come up short. <laughs> Stephon Diggs will be pissed. He'll get out. They're going to fucking get Straight juice. Up. Yeah, they're going to get juice. fucking juice. Lit. You're going to be in Buffalo Man. cold as fuck. They dropping that bag contact with your boys in high school, then? What's up? You still keeping contact with your boys in high yeah, school? Yeah, a lot of them. Yeah, don't go to Arizona. <laughs> <laughs> that should get you in trouble. With all your homies. All that in money it, yeah. in Old Town Scottsdale? Man. Yeah. It's a dangerous spot. Where'd y'all go in Old Town? Everywhere. Where did you guys FA go? Bottle Blonde. Oh, we, we didn't really. You went out more than I did. What are you talking about? Super Bowl oh, week? We're at the Super Bowl. Where did we go? It was oh, like that Irish school. that Irish bar. Patties. Oh, Patties. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Patties. That's like in Tempe. No, that's in Old Town. Right? Yeah, yeah, I think that's in Old Town. Yeah, obviously the bar still bar. But it wasn't. We didn't. We It wasn't like that. We didn't get, yeah, we didn't get it. No, nothing crazy like that. Yeah. Hectic. Too hectic. Do you, ever go, do you ever go up to Cape Creek? Uh, yeah, I used to play basketball up there a lot. Really? Um, yeah, a lot back in. You go up the Buffalo trip. That's a spot. Buffalo, oh, yeah, where they got the Western. Whoa. What was that? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's Whoa! A that's not, that's not, that's not <laughs> really my. Uh... JP, when he scores a touchdown next year, that's just a gift. He's just gonna be dropping. <laughs> we need to see yeah, it. Out. Yeah. Hey, fellas, we appreciate you guys yeah, coming man, on. Vibes were high. You guys were all time. We're hoping, hoping the best for you guys. Sure. Sure. Appreciate you, man. Appreciate so. you. Boys, hope you enjoyed. Subscribe, rate five stars, do all the good stuff.